Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I will be making three cards using two of Mama Elephant's newest release called Yummy Snacks and Box Drinks. This is also a collab with my friends Alma and Cheryl and we will each make three cards using those two stamp sets. Now you guys know how much I love Mama Elephant so I had to bring in a lot of my Mama Elephant dies and another sentiment stamp set to go with these cards. I will be creating three birthday cards and two are going to be A2 size and one will be slimline. I will be doing some ink blending with an MFT stencil called Radiating Rays. Um, I brought in pattern paper. I've gone ahead and colored my images. So here it is. I try to go for a really fun cutesy pastel -y, playful look. <laughs> if you guys um, know me. You know that I love Mama Elephant and um, this is right up my alley. I will leave Alma and Cheryl's uh, YouTube channels down below and I will list the supplies I use below as well as on my coordinating blog post. Now I'm going to go ahead and start ink, blend ink blending. I'm trying to go very light here because I just want a little hint of color behind my um, images so I'm um, normally heavy-handed when I ink blend but I'm trying really hard not to push too hard on my brushes so that I can get a really light blend then I took two of my smallest acrylic blocks and I'm going to spritz some water on there because I want to do a little bit of um, splatters on the background and so I'm really pleased with how this turned out because it just gives it a nice visual interest. And this is inspired by one of my favorite Instagram uh, crafters. Her name is Rachel Alvarado. And I just love how she creates ink splattered backgrounds. I will leave to her, I will leave her Instagram um, account or I was going to say channel, but I'm going to leave her Instagram um, down below so you can see all of her amazing cards that she makes. I also ink splattered some white um, Well, not acrylic. It's called Copic opaque white and I just um, ink splattered that there and I'm really pleased with how it came out now for the milk. I will be um, Creating a shaker card with this I tend to or I normally don't buy dies because I have a brother scan and cut but for this one I bought the dies because it cuts the metal part and I don't know how to do that on my brother scan and cut like probably if I like you know read or played around with it some more I can figure out how to do that but um it's just easier this way I also like buying dies if it's like you know it if it cuts out like tiny details of um, sentiments, I, I'm a sucker for that for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and put some 1 8 inch foam tape around this milk, but except I made it juice because I colored it orange. Um, and I'm just going around. I've gone ahead and uh, pre-cut my acetate. And now I'm going to... Put the rest of the foam tape on here making sure that I have it on all sides so then it'll be very sturdy and then I'm layering my sentiments here and I wish mama elephant would come out with more of these types of sentiments because I really like the font and the size of it and I'm layering this three times well there's three layers in total and I'm using a uh, 110 pound I'm sorry no 120 pound uh, cardstock so it's thick that's why I, normally if I have an 80 pound cardstock I'll layer it five times but since I have a thicker cardstock I only did it three times so I'm putting that at the very top and I'm eyeing where I'm going to put my juice. And then I took some of my sprinkles. These sprinkles I buy on Etsy. It's called Happy Kawaii Store. And that's where I get a lot of my um, clay sprinkles. Because I really love the look of um, clay sprinkles. So I just center that. And then I'm going to uh, 
adhere my juice on top. I just want it. I didn't like overstuff it because I really wanted it to move freely. Now this card really challenged me because um, when I previously designed it, I was like, this is going to go here. This is going to go here. And then when I was trying to put it together, like for the video, like I couldn't remember where, what, what, you know, like I could not remember. And then what made it even harder is where I put my foam tape. Like I was, I kind of put it on the wrong, like I wasn't supposed to put foam tape on one of the ears or another side one side of the body so I was um yeah I was removing extra foam tape here and there and so this card took longer than I had anticipated but I am very pleased with how it turned out because I am very much in love with that background and I want to create more backgrounds like that and um yeah I'm a fan of Rachel Alvarado, you guys. You have to check her out. She she designs for um, MFT. Okay, so I'm going to add more fruit here. And then as you can see on the left side of that dog, it's kind of empty. And I didn't realize until when I was cleaning up at the end that there was another star that I forgot to put there. But when I show you my pictures in the end, you will see that I added a star there so it looks more whole but that's gonna finish finish up card one i love it and i'm really loving that scallop playful edge with the two-tone colors and oh yeah i'm gonna stamp inside of the card and it's going to say wishing you only the best now for the second card i'm gonna be using the ray stencil from mft i chose um three colors which is blue, pink, and yellow. The inner side, the inner part of the ray is gonna be blue, and then the mid is gonna be pink. Now, again, I'm trying to go light-handed here, but it kind of didn't work because the top left part I can already see is very heavy. That's okay because the majority of this will be covered up. But again, I just wanted like you know a nice visual background where it's not too overpowering but at the same time I'm trying to challenge myself to not use as much pattern paper because I I want to learn how to create my own backgrounds with stencils because I'm really getting into stencils so that's the ray background I really love the color combo I try to pick colors that match my coloring so this one right here, the dye that I'm using is called Ojai Loopy. Now, all the dyes I'm using here are all for Mama Elephant. I love their dyes because I feel like they're very unique, especially their um, A2 size dyes and their slimline. I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck when you get their slimline dyes because they include a lot of like the like for example clouds and hills um you get um scallop edges like the rectangle stitch to go inside that scallop edge i feel like you really get a lot of bang for your buck so um yeah check it out all right really love the loop here i chose again um cardstock that matches the colors of my images um these stamp sets are so cute. My daughter was like, mom, you colored the panda wrong because if you're familiar with Asian snacks or I mean, now they're available like at Target and stuff. It, like, for example, that panda right there, it's called Hello Panda. You can get it at Target. Um, the middle one, I think it's like a juice called Yakult, but I don't drink that. My mom does. Not sure what the left one is, but I'm just going to pretend it's an ice cream cone. <laughs> and then again, the... Um, the sentiments I'm layering three times and I'm going to put that at the bottom and then I popped up the juice in the center and that llama is just so adorable this card came together really quickly I'm very pleased with how it came out and again I'm going to stamp wishing you only the best in inside my card and that will finish up card two now for our last card, this one is a slimline 
card and okay i forgot to finish my story about the panda so as you can see the panda there is red right it's supposed to be red not blue but i don't know why i colored it blue and my daughter was like mom it's supposed to be red so i colored it over again also the pocky one as you can see there it's blue but i colored another one red because she said it's supposed to be red so i have all these images and i was like well i don't want it to go to waste so i'm going to cluster a whole bunch of images from both stamp sets and um, the end result i really love well i love anything mama elephant <laughs> but again i layered the sentiment birthday hugs three times and then for the um milk here which is going to be, I'm just going to say strawberry milk. Um, I did not make a shaker out of that because I've already um, popped up some of the elements and it wouldn't look right if I popped that up. Like, cause like I had already planned for other stuff to be um, popped up. And so I'm trying to, like since the red is really overpowering as you can see um i'm gonna strategically put my images in certain places and try to cover it um slightly so then it wouldn't really overpower the card because that red is like super strong but in the end i was just so happy with how this card came out it's so cute i had so much fun coloring these images and i had so much fun putting it together that i'm just enjoying this type of card making it's so different you know usually i just do this like on the side like on my own because i wasn't sure how it would go when i film it but i think i'm getting the hang of it you guys so okay so for the first card this one was a pig but then i decided to make it a cow because i'm not really sure if it's a pig or a cow because it has horns so i decided to make it both and then another disappointing thing happened you guys i lost the die for that pig slash cow i'm so sad <laughs> but anyways that finishes up the cards um make sure to give my friends some love and give us a like and follow us and i appreciate you guys spending some of your time with me i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section if you have a favorite or what you think of the cards i love 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 reading all of your comments thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day bye